Have you heard of vaginal Kegel weights? Well, if you wanna strengthen your weak pelvic floor muscles, then vaginal weights might be for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about what vaginal weights are, plus the three best ways to use them to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles to decrease your leakage, reduce your prolapse symptoms, and help your sex life. I'm Dr. Alex Hill, your physical therapist for everything pelvic health. Let's get those muscles pumping. Vaginal weights are small devices, usually with a plastic or a silicone coating, that can be used with kegels and other exercises to help strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. Vaginal weights come in sets that include different weights to progressively challenge your pelvic floor muscles. You might benefit from vaginal weights if you have symptoms of a weak pelvic floor. These can include incontinence or leakage, decreased sensation or tightness with vaginal sex, and pelvic organ prolapse, which is where the uterus, rectum, or bladder drop down into the vaginal wall and you feel or see a bulge. So I'm sure you're asking, do vaginal weights actually work? Yes, they do. But research shows that overall, most people who did Kegels alone have the same improvement as people who use vaginal weights. So overall, if you're looking for another way to help strengthen and tone your pelvic floor muscles, then using vaginal weights might be helpful. Just like with any other exercise though, consistency with kegels and using vaginal weights will give you the best outcomes. As I mentioned before, vaginal weights are best for people who have underactive or weak pelvic floor muscles. If you have pelvic pain, severe vaginal dryness, or you have significant prolapse where those tissues are extending way outside the vaginal opening, then vaginal weights might not be for you. If you're not sure, just check with your medical provider before starting to use vaginal weights. All right, let's go through how to use them. First, you're going to take the lightest weight in your set and you're gonna wash and dry it. For comfort, you can place just a little bit of water-based lubricant at the end of the weight, but don't put too much, just a little dab will do ya. Next, you're going to find a comfortable position to insert the weight. You can try standing with one leg raised up on a step stool or your bathtub, sitting down, or even lying in bed. If you've used tampons or menstrual cups, use whatever position is comfortable for you to insert these. Next, you're going to gently insert the weight into the vagina. Make sure that you fully insert the weight, but make sure that the string is still outside the body. You don't need to insert it super far in because the weight sits right on top of the pelvic floor muscles. Once you have that lightest weight inserted, stand up right and see if your muscles can hold that weight. If it feels super easy to keep the weight inside the vagina, then you can try going to the next weight up. Once you've found your starting weight, then it's time to do your exercises. After you're done exercising with your weight, gently pull the string to remove the weight from the vagina, and then you're going to wash and dry it again. So now you know how to insert it and how to find your starting weight, let's get into the three best ways to use vaginal weights. The first way to use vaginal weights is to do kegels while they're inserted. Kegels are just pelvic floor contractions. The pelvic floor muscles work just like any other muscle in that as you contract them and use resistance, they'll get stronger. So with it inserted into the vagina, you're going to contract the pelvic floor muscles, hold for a couple seconds, and then relax completely. You can do a set of 10 of these contractions, but make sure that you fully relax in between. So you're going to contract, hold it, and relax contract, hold, and relax. Again, make sure that you fully relax in between each contraction, and you can do that set of 10 two to three times a day. Now, if you feel like even using the lightest weight is too challenging to keep in and it keeps slipping out as you're trying to do your contractions, try doing them sitting down or lying down to make it easier. The second way to use vaginal weights is to keep it in while you're doing your daily activities. So with your starting weight, keep it inserted for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
while that weight is inserted, the pelvic floor muscles will naturally help to support the weight. So you don't need to be performing Kegel exercises for the whole 15 minutes. During that 10 to 15 minutes that you have it inserted, you can go ahead and just do light activity around the house. Take a shower, get ready for the day or get ready to go to bed, do the dishes or just walk room to room. If you feel that the weight's starting to slip down, go ahead, do a Kegel to help support it or sit down for a couple minutes just to give the pelvic floor a break. The third way to use vaginal weights is to do other exercises with them inserted. If you wanna try a squat, for example, start in a small range first, see if you can keep the weight in, and then progressively work your way to lower and more challenging positions. So now that you know how to use the vaginal weights, let's talk about how you know when it's time to progress from one weight to the next level up. Once the lighter weight doesn't slip out and it's easy to hold it in with kegels and with daily activities, then you can go ahead and move to the next weight. You might notice as you go to that next weight though, that after a couple minutes, it might feel like it's more challenging, it's starting to slip out. Remember, these are muscles just like any other muscles. All that's saying is that your muscles are getting fatigued. So try going back down to the weight that's lower or sit down for a couple minutes to give the pelvic floor a break. So I'm sure your next question is, how often should I use these vaginal weights? Start out with using them two to three times a week, but you can work up to using them every other day or even every day. But again, I know I sound like a broken record, but these muscles can get fatigued. So give them a day or two break in between. If your muscles are extremely weak, you're definitely gonna need an extra day or two in between. An alternative is using a heavier weight one day and then a lighter weight the next day. The important thing to remember about vaginal weights is that ideally they're used as part of a comprehensive program to address your symptoms. If you need to find a pelvic floor physical therapist near you to get a full assessment and program, I'm including the links down below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it helped you understand how to use vaginal weights to effectively strengthen your pelvic floor. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more pelvic floor content.